Hi everyone, welcome to our Docker container series. Today, we are going to talk about Docker Slim. So, as we know that Docker Slim is going to help us minify our bloated containers, making it secure by decreasing the attack surface. So, say suppose we have images like Debian, Ubuntu, all of these things, okay? We can minify the application containers with our Docker Slim. So, why wait? Let us get started. So the first thing I'm going to do as usual is open up my terminal. Okay. So I have this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to wherever my Docker Slim directly is there. Okay. So we have it in the container tools and then the Docker Slim. So I'm there. Okay. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the latest v 45 one flask. That's the image I'm, I'm going to use to minify so let me say docker pull and the image name so since i don't have the king my local server it's going to take a minute or two and then it gets downloaded so the thing what happens in our docker slim is we will not build docker image from the docker file like we are used to do that right so we are not going to do that instead we are going to build new image from an existing image so we are not going to do anything like what we have or very much used to do so the thing in docker slim is we will not build docker image from the docker file like the way we used to okay instead what we are going to do is we are going to build new image from an existing image okay once this is done now let me just say list so when I do NIST, you can see something interesting here that is probe cmds.json. So let me just get in there. Okay. Inside Docker Slim, I have this. Okay. Since our application is mostly backend. Okay. We have a list of all the endpoints. Okay. The app is using. So you can see register user, register customer. You have login, fetch customer, so on and so forth. So let us understand how it is going to work. So the Docker Slim is going to consume this file and it will try and perform all actions against the running instances of the container we have. So this then is going to bring up application graph that is created based on what's happening inside the container. Interesting, right? Now, to do so, first thing what we are going to do is we are going to bring our docker slim version okay to do that first let me just have the docker slim okay and then i'm going to start building it so i'm going to use docker slim build command and i have the show logs okay and i'm using the probe cmds dog json that we spoke about so this is not mandatory Okay, but it is very much helpful in increasing the overall efficiency of the container image that is being built. Okay, so it will bring all the CMS mentioned in the probe command.json. So let me just hit enter. So it gets the log up. Okay, you can even access the application based on the port it is exposed. Say, suppose you have 49155. So you can use this port to interact that works it says i just crawl up so you can see the logs let me take you there so you can see that it says you can use this port to interact with the container so that's the port you can use 49155 okay so you have all the logs up here so this is how you can see the logs now let me just check the docker images now you can observe that the v45 one flask okay the, the one we had and the v45 one flask dog slim that we have now okay if you observe the sizes you can see the first one that is our one flask is 763 mb and the docker slim that we got is just 45.4 mb this is a huge size difference right so now we understand how our docker slim is helping us right now if we want to check, okay, how the HTTPS cogs were made and app armor and seccom profiles are generated, okay, you can even do that, okay. If I say NIST, 
you can see all the docker file, docker file, docker file, c report, doc json, so on and so forth. That's it for this lab today. Excel lab. See you in the next one. Bye bye.